In this video, we'll learn to differentiate e to the power of x. You've hopefully seen e before, probably in terms of compound interest. And we'll start by stating without proof a limit true for e. The limit as h approaches zero of e to the h minus one divided by h turns out to be one. It's not obvious why that should be true, but if we head over to Desmos.com, it certainly looks like it's true. Here's e to the h minus one over h. And as h goes to zero, we really do approach one. At zero, of course, itself, of course, this is undefined, but the closer we get to zero, the closer we get to one. So if we're willing to buy that this limit true always true then i can find the derivative of f of x equals e to the x using the limit definition of the derivative f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h the limit as this frac as h goes to zero we'll rewrite this power, it's e to the x times e to the h. And now we see an e to the x in common. And we'll pull that e to the x out. We can pull constants out of limits. And as unintuitive as it might be to think of e to the x as a constant, it's constant in the sense that as h approaches zero, e to the x isn't changing. There aren't any h's in e to the x. So we'll pull e to the x out of the limit. And what then is this limit? I gave it to you up here. This limit is simple simply one. And e to the x times one is e to the x. So what am I saying? I'm saying 
that e to the power of x is its own derivative. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x.